Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss the drug interaction between simvastatin and amiodarone. When our simvastatin is given along with the amiodarone, we can observe few of the symptoms in the patients, particularly muscle pain, muscle weakness and fatigue can be observed in the patients. And this drug interaction may also lead to the muscle breakdown in the patients. And all of these symptoms may be related with the simvastatin which produces the myopathy and rhabdomyolysis. So when our simvastatin is given along with the amiodarone, the side effects of simvastatin are more pronounced. But what is the mechanism underlying this drug interaction? So today in this video, let us see how these drugs are going to interact and how we can eliminate this drug interaction. First of all, let us see what is simvastatin. Simvastatin is an anti-hyperlipidemic agent. We can easily observe with the suffix vastatin, which indicates an anti-hyperlipidemic agent. And simvastatin is a prodrug which is going to be bioactivated. This drug is having a structure like this. You can observe it's having a lactone ring system. So here the simvastatin undergoes the hydrolysis such that this lactone ring is going to be opened and it's going to produce an active metabolite like this. This active metabolite is the beta hydroxy heptanoic acid which is responsible for the pharmacological action of simvastatin. Now let us see the mechanism of action of uh, simvastatin. Simvastatin is mainly inhibiting the biosins of the cholesterol within the liver. So within the liver, cholesterol is going to be synthesized from the intermediate HMG-CoA. This HMG-CoA is going to be converted into mevalonate by one of the important enzyme HMG-CoA reductase. This is the rate limiting enzyme which is controlling the biosins of the cholesterol within the liver. Now this enzyme is responsible for the conversion of the HMG-CoA to the mevalonate and then this mevalonate by sequential steps it is going to be converted into cholesterol. In this way, cholesterol is going to be biosynthesized where the HMG-CoA reductase enzyme is the important enzyme in cholesterol biosynthesis. Now, simvastatin can act at this enzyme. This drug can bind to this HMG-CoA reductase enzyme, thereby it inhibits the activity which results in the inhibition of the cholesterol biosynthesis within the liver. In this way, simvastatin is going to inhibit the cholesterol levels within the liver, but liver can take the cholesterol by alternative methods. When this cholesterol biosynthesis is going to be inhibited, liver can express via the receptors. These are the LDL receptors. These LDL receptors can attract the LDL within the plasma. Now LDL which is rich in the cholesterol can bind to these LDL receptors which are expressed on the surface of the liver so that this LDL cholesterol is going to be internalized and it is going to be released as a cholesterol into the liver. In this way, simvastatin can increase the LDL cholesterol uptake into the liver. There will decrease the plasma LDL cholesterol. That's why simvastatin is going to decrease the LDL cholesterol which is commonly known as bad cholesterol responsible for the pathogens of the atherosclerosis. As well as simvastatin can also increase the HDL, the good cholesterol which prevents the formation of atherosclerosis. So this is the mechanism of simvastatin and here you can observe at any of these steps amiodarone cannot interact. So amiodarone is not producing any pharmacodynamic interaction. So the interaction of the simvastatin with the amiodarone may be related with the pharmacokinetic interaction. Now let us see what is amiodarone. Amiodarone is a class 3 antiarrhythmic agent. Antiarrhythmic agents are classified into four classes based on the wagons william classification. So this is a class 3 antiarrhythmic agent. This drug is having a structure like this and, and here you can observe it is having a large structure with iodine groups attached to the phenyl ring. So amiodarone is a iodinated compound which is responsible for the few of the side effects of the amiodarone like uh, pulmonary fibrosis hyper or hypothyroidism and corneal deposits. All these are because of the iodine moiety present in the amiodarone. This drug is going to inhibit the voltage gated potassium channels which are opened at the phase 3 of the action potential. So this drug is going to delay the phase 3 repolarization thereby to increase the effective refractory period. The action potential duration is increased as well as effective refractory period is going to be increased. That's why amiodarone can be used in the re-entry type of arrhythmia where a same impulse is going to re-excite the cardiac cells because of the circulatory movement. In such conditions, amiodarone can increase the effective refractory period, thereby it can suppress the extra systoles of the heart. And apart from this, amiodarone can also block the other channels like the sodium and calcium. Therefore, this drug can produce the antiarrhythmic action. But again here, we can observe one of the specific side effects that can be related with the amiodarone. All we have seen it is having the iodine moiety which is responsible for the either hyper or hypothyroidism and pulmonary fibrosis. Because it is going to increase the 
effective refractory period and it increases the plot you face. It can act as a pro-arrhythmic agent. This drug can increase the QT interval within the ECG, which can precipitate the one of the fatal cardiac arrhythmias, torsade D point is. So, increase the QT interval and resulting in the torsade D point is a common side effect of all the class 3 antiarrhythmic agents. Again, here we cannot observe any drug interaction between the imidarone and simvastatin because both of the drugs are going to produce the different side effects. Then how they are going to interact? So simvastatin is a lactone prodrug. This drug requires the activation, so it undergoes the hydrolysis because the lactone can be easily cleaved by hydrolysis. When it undergoes the hydrolysis in vivo, it can be converted into active metabolite. This active metabolite is nothing but the beta hydroxyheptanoic acid. And this beta hydroxyheptanoic acid is responsible for the blocking of HMG coerectase enzyme, thereby it inhibits the cholesterol biosynthesis within the liver. In this way, simvastatin requires a bioactivation, but at the same time, simvastatin can be metabolized such that it is going to produce the 6 beta hydroxy simvastatin, and it can also produce the another metabolite 6 exomethylene simvastatin, but these metabolites are inactive metabolites. Now, simvastatin can be converted to these inactive metabolites by CYP3A4 enzyme. So, if any drug inhibiting the CYP3A4 activity, it can inhibit the metabolism of the simvastatin so that simvastatin can be more converted into its active metabolite. So, here amiodarone is one of the drug which is a strong inhibitor of the CYP3A4 enzyme, thereby increase the conversion of the simvastatin into its active metabolites. So whenever the imidarone is given along with the simvastatin, it increases the levels of simvastatin within the plasma, which increase the myopathy as well as rhabdomyosis that can be produced by simvastatin. Not only imidarone, still we have so many types of drugs which are going to interact with the simvastatin metabolism. So drugs like uh, verapamil and diltiazem, both of these drugs are calcium channel blockers. Similarly, telithromycin, which is a macrolide antibiotic and Azole antifungals like the itraconazole, posaconazole, and similarly, if you have the protease inhibitors like the nilfinavir and immunosuppressants like the cyclosporin, all these drugs are the potent inhibitors of the CYP3A4 enzyme, thereby they inhibit the metabolism of the simvastatin. So, all these drugs are going to increase the plasma levels of simvastatin, which, which produce few of the muscle related disorders like the myopathy, muscle pain, muscle weakness and even rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdomyolysis is the dissolution of the muscle fiber which is in the breakdown of the muscle. All the side effects of the simvastatin can be significantly increased by these drugs by inhibition of the CYP3A4 enzyme. Then what we have to do when the amiodarone is given along with the simvastatin? Since amiodarone is going to increase the levels of simvastatin, we can decrease the dose of the simvastatin such that we can minimize the drug interaction. Otherwise, we can use the alternative statins. We have so many types of statins, for example, lovastatin. Lovastatin is again showing the same drug interaction with the imidarone because it is also metabolized by CYP3A4 enzyme. So we cannot use the lovastatin. But we can use the other statins which are metabolized by alternative pathways other than the CYP3A4. So we have few other drugs like the fluvastatin and pravastatin which can be given along with the imidarone because they are not metabolized by CYP3A4 enzyme. So these two statins are not showing any drug interaction with the imidarone and other CYP3A4 inhibitors. Thereby, the dosage adjustment is not required and they will not produce any significant muscle disorders. So that's about this drug interaction between imidarone and simvastatin. Imidarone and other related drugs like the verapamil, diltiazem, azole antifungals like the itraconazole, posaconazole, immunosuppressants like the cyclosporin, macrolides like the telithromycin and even grapefruit juice all these are the potent inhibitors of the cyp3a4 enzyme which can inhibit the metabolism of the simvastatin so that simvastatin is not converted into inactive metabolites instead simvastatin can undergo more hydrolysis thereby produce a more active metabolites which are responsible for the increased inhibition of the hmg coerectase enzyme resulting in the decreased biosense of cholesterol within the liver but apart from this increase in pharmacological action, the raised levels of this drug can also increase the muscle disorders like the myopathy, muscle pain, muscle weakness, fatigue and rhabdomyolysis which are highly significant. That's why this drug interaction should be carefully monitored and avoided. 
and by reducing the dose of the simvastatin otherwise the replacing the simvastatin with the other drugs like the fluvastatin and pravastatin we can minimize this drug interaction so that's for today hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video